You're listening to the Spark Radio Network, Internet radio like you've never heard before. Innovation, creativity, and imagination are all said to begin with a spark. So fasten your seatbelt and take the ride of your life and listen for the spark. You are listening to KLRN Radio, where liberty and reason still reign. Most writers and radio show hosts know that to connect with your fans, you need to do more than just write books or record the latest podcasts. There are many different elements that go into forming an online platform, but there are also many hidden traps. To make matters worse, solid advice on how to survive the muddy waters is scarce. In the book Hidden Traps, I talk about some of the important issues of working with an online platform, highlighting traps that could put your physical or internet security at risk, or be harmful to your reputation. Are your social media posts just links with a few disjointed words making you look like someone who can't complete a sentence? Did your new website cost you more than you anticipated? Are you leaking your personal contact details across the web without even knowing it? Then you need Hidden Traps. Hidden Traps is now available in paperback and ebook from a variety of retailers, including Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and Kobo. Visit blackwolfpublications.com for more details. If you're 85 or younger, would you like peace of mind and comfort for your family? We're Final Expense Direct with an urgent message for you. The average funeral today costs over $8,000, but the most you'll get from government benefits is $255. How will your family pay the difference? We can help. Our senior plans start as low as just a dollar a day and pay up to $30,000 for a funeral and other final expenses. Peace of mind is easy. There's no medical exam. You'll have lifetime coverage, and your plan can't be canceled as long as you pay your premiums. Call now for free information about our senior plans. Answer a few simple questions and receive approval right on the phone. Plus, call right now, and we'll give you a discount prescription card for free. Call 800-553-8687. That's 800-553-8687. Again, 800-553-8687. KLRN Radio has advertising rates available. We have rates to fit almost any budget. Contact us at advertising at klrnradio.com. Attention business owners and independent contractors. This is a money-saving message from Tax Mediation Services. If your business owes $20,000 or more in taxes, we can help you today, right now. Listen, dealing with the IRS is no picnic. It's an intimidating and extremely stressful process, and you don't want to go it alone. Our attorneys know every law, every tax break, and every possible opportunity to help you resolve and reduce your tax debt. And if you owe more than $20,000, you may be at the top of their hit list. So don't take your tax debt lightly because it will not go away on its own. The IRS can seize your bank accounts, your home, and even shut down your business. Call our tax experts today at 1-800-783-0810 and let us deal with the IRS while you focus on your business. That's 1-800-783-0810. Again, that's 800-783-0810. My son was in the Army back during Desert Storm, but even then he wanted an MBA. He looked at a dozen schools, but only one offered the online education and flexibility he needed while he was in a tent in Iraq, Grantham University. Turns out that Grantham's been delivering affordable, relevant college and advanced degrees for over 65 years. Heck, if they can deliver a quality education to a soldier in a tent overseas, think about the flexibility Grantham can offer you so you can earn your degree, too. It doesn't matter how complicated or full your life is. If getting a degree is on your bucket list, you'll want to do what my son did. You'll want to call Grantham. Find out how easy it is to get started on your education so you can check that college degree off your bucket list. Call Grantham right now. 800-910-1370. That's 800-910-1370. Flexible. Affordable. Relevant. Call 800-910-1370. Sometimes riders feel lost, unsure why a passage may not be working. 
It takes another set of eyes to help us nurture our writing into full maturity. At Black Wolf Editorial Services, we strive to enable writers to develop and grow, offering manuscript critiques and line edits through a mentoring editorial style. We also offer assistance on generating a writer's bio for your websites. Black Wolf Editorial Services, nurturing your writing into maturity. For a full list of services, visit blackwolfeditorial.com. You're listening to the Spark Radio Network, internet radio like you've never heard before. Innovation, creativity, and imagination are all said to begin with a spark. So fasten your seatbelt and take the ride of your life and listen for the spark. You are listening to KLRN Radio, where liberty and reason still reign. My name is Jesse, and I'm proud of the life I have, surrounded by military and aware just how big the world really is. I have a unique perspective on life and the world around us. If you're willing to listen, I'll tell you how I see it, and I won't pull any punches. This is my POV, which stands for Point of View. All right, how y'all doing out there tonight? Yes, it's Jesse, and yes, I do miss you when we're not talking. Welcome to the show that almost wasn't. I play webmaster for the station, and, well, not our main site, klrnradio.com, where liberty and reason still reign, but one of our auxiliary sites for our hosts crashed. And it wasn't just, oh, go in and wiggle, jiggle a switch. I had to go into the back end and rebuild databases and restore backups. And first I had to find the backup, and I didn't think I'd even backed up the site. And let's just say... You're lucky I sorted it all out so I could get here tonight. Because, boy, it wasn't going to happen tr- uh, about an hour ago. An hour ago, I was sitting going, oh, no. So, yeah, I did get it sorted. And all the bits and pieces are... Now running properly. So, but it was just one of those absolute chaos, panic, run around. And the funny thing was, and I'm actually going to give this a shout out on air. It was a plug-in. Thank you, Doc, had me install, start installing on our websites. But I hadn't configured the plug-in. So, I didn't know the backups were there. But I found them, got them downloaded, got it, everything re-uploaded, and a few connective wires, so to speak, behind the scenes, and the site was back. So, yes, an hour ago, there was not going to be a live version of Jesse's POV tonight. You were going to get a best of, but I hadn't made any announcements because I was crossing my fingers going, I can do this. I can do it. And I was even done in time to get some show prep done. Now, I don't have a lot, but as I usually end up having to pitch some of it, it's probably not the end of the world because, well... You don't want to see the amount of paper I generate in a week. And before anybody starts screaming and shouting, yes, it gets recycled. Yes, it goes in the recycle bin, not the trash can. I get it, okay? Especially with the volumes I've been known to produce. Now, of course, you know I'm not here on Friday nights, but you will... There will be a brand new episode of Jesse's Coffee Shop for you to enjoy. Yes. 
There will. A wonderful new thing. What can I say? Not that Jesse's Coffee Shop's new, but I've been having a lot of fun with my interviews this this year. I have had some absolutely fantastic interviews. And tomorrow night was absolutely one of my favorites. And he, John Prather, caught me way off guard. But he was a blast. And after I stopped the recording, we talked for another 40 minutes. It was a fantastic interview. So definitely tune in for that tomorrow, right here on KLRN Radio tomorrow night. Now, yes, we are going to get on with the show. Of course, the big topic for today has got to be the shutdown. Is it going to happen? If so, what is going to happen? Well, I don't normally do too much U.S. politics, but this is one of those where worlds collide. So we're going to have to go into just a little bit of it. I promise I am not going to let it take up the whole show. Hey, we got to fit... We got to fit this guy in somewhere and his cohort in South Korea. Who knows? Maybe even this one will make an appearance. And for those of you who don't recall that one, because I don't play it very often, you all know the duck. That's Kim Jong-un. But for those of you who don't know the second one, that is the sound effect I use for Bashar al-Assad. All right. Now, let's talk government shutdown. What does it mean for the men and women of the armed forces? Well, the cold hard fact is it means they still have to go to work without a paycheck. You heard me. They do not get a paycheck. And the Democrats are not being very, well, the Democrats and Republicans can't seem to get their rear into gear. So here's what I think of Congress as an overall. Yeah, they're a train wreck. I will let you know that, uh, We're not the only people with a government that they don't like. President Moon's approval rating has dropped significantly. Yes. And it was at 67% and it has dropped by over six points in days. And the number of people who said they did not approve of how President Moon was managing state affairs is up 7%. So, what can I say? All right, back to the shutdown. I have a clip from someone who doesn't make many appearances on my show. And that would be Speaker Ryan. Yes, House Speaker Ryan. and deadlines that don't exist. Now, All right, let's restart that audio clip real quick. They continue to hold military funding hostage over unrelated issues and deadlines that don't exist. Now they are threatening to shut down the government altogether over these unrelated issues. It is just unconscionable. And... I do realize that those sound effects didn't play, so let me revisit my opinion of Congress as a whole. 
And of course, I promise, there'll be some duck. <laughs> and who knows, maybe we'll even have a guest appearance by Bashar al-Assad. <laughs> so, like I said, it has been a crazy day. I have gone from twiddling around, working, doing various other things to... I have to fix a website now. And absolutely now as in get it done as fast as I can. So it was definitely one of those crisis moments. But we got through it and I got on the air. What can I say? I do always try and make sure you get your dose of Jesse's POV. Now, as a military spouse, the thought of going without a paycheck means a couple things. It means that, well, for those of us living on base, rent isn't an issue. They know they'll get it when we get paid. In so far as, but how do you pay your cell phone bill, your car insurance? How do you put gas in your car? Food on the table. And whatever these politicians are thinking, get off your six and figure it out because there are hundreds of thousands of men and women who raised their right hand and took an oath to stand and fight for this nation. And now you are going to let them down and not pay them but yet they still have to go to work this means that those military families who have been working so hard to get themselves out of debt are going to find themselves back in debt this means that people are going to have to tap vacation funds emergency funds credit cards that is the on the ground real world what men and women in the armed forces are looking at right now. And we know Congress is still getting paid. So, I'm sorry guys. Womp womp. Fail. Because you should not be railing on taking this out on the military sequestration and the continuing resolutions and this is fact friends have hit the military harder than any other branch of the government here you know any other segment period bar none and trust me we are not the only people, like I mentioned, that are not happy with our government. The nation of South Korea, many of you, if you tune in at all, or if you, unless you live under a rock, you know that the South Koreans are divided, that the Koreans are supposed to be marching under a, quote, unity flag which hasn't been pulled out since 2006. And, well, only four out of ten South Koreans are in favor of using a unified flag. And now the women's ice hockey team is going to be disrupted. And, 40% of the respondents Do not, you know, want the march under the flag. And, you know, over 40% of the people are going, we don't want it. Whereas 49% say, yeah, sure, do it. But, but, you got to look at the ages. Respondents in their 60s and older were in 
most in favor of each country using their own flags. That was by an overwhelming 62%. Those in their 30s came in at 50%. Those in their 50s were at 48%. Those in their 20s were at 44%. 52% of all respondents in their 40s approve of the unified flag. So it's an interesting breakdown on ages. It wasn't the way I thought it was going to fall. Now, just because they're talking about North Korea doesn't mean they're talking everything. It really doesn't. But they are working on it. They are working hard. There will be four sports that the North Koreans will participate in. Yes, four sports. The figure spate skating pair that did legitimately qualify on their own, alpine skiing, cross-country skiing, and women's ice hockey. Now, the actual numbers of athletes is up to the IOC, and they're going to have a meeting on Saturday to discuss it. The IOC is the one that formally invites countries to the Olympics, and they actually have the final say. Now, the figure skating pair is probably set. They missed the October 30th deadline to confirm participation, but the inter they've got the backing of the International Skating Union. They say they've met all the necessary technical requirements other than the paperwork. Now, Women's hockey is where the controversy is. Women's hockey. First of all, they announced a 23-player roster, but yet the IOC sets the limit at 22. Yep. So, first of all, they can't even get the numbers on the roster right. And the coach is fuming because this means that some of her players who have worked long and hard will have to be kicked off the team. And this may be Korea, South Korea's only ever entry onto the world stage in women's ice hockey. So, who knows what's going on. Now, the IOC is scrambling to finalize protocols related to North Korea's participation, such as country's flag, uniform, and anthem. I mean, they haven't even figured out what the athletes are wearing. Who's going to supply them? And what music they're playing if they win? And while I support, I want peace. I want the Koreas to get along. However, comma, I must, must, must say that I don't think it should come at the detriment of South Korea. I really don't. The South Koreans who have worked so hard and earned their spots, why should they have to step aside? They're the ones who have actually worked for it, trained, and put in the time. All right, folks. We are coming up on the bottom of the hour. And I am going to take my commercial break just a tiny bit early. Because, quite frankly, I'm going to be honest with you, I need to get a bottle of water because I did not take time to grab one before I got on the air. And I do not want you subjected to Mr. Frog. So we are going to take a, com the full commercial break. And I will see you on the other side. 
You're listening to the Spark Radio Network, internet radio like you've never heard before. Innovation, creativity, and imagination are all said to begin with a spark. So fasten your seatbelt and take the ride of your life and listen for the spark. You are listening to KLRN Radio, where liberty and reason still reign. Most writers and radio show hosts know that to connect with your fans, you need to do more than just write books or record the latest podcasts. There are many different elements that go into forming an online platform, but there are also many hidden traps. To make matters worse, solid advice on how to survive the muddy waters is scarce. In the book Hidden Traps, I talk about some of the important issues of working with an online platform, highlighting traps that could put your physical or internet security at risk, or be harmful to your reputation. Are your social media posts just links with a few disjointed words making you look like someone who can't complete a sentence? Did your new website cost you more than you anticipated? Are you leaking your personal contact details across the web without even knowing it? Then you need Hidden Traps. Hidden Traps is now available in paperback and ebook from a variety of retailers, including Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and Kobo. Visit blackwolfpublications.com for more details. If you're 85 or younger, would you like peace of mind and comfort for your family? We're Final Expense Direct with an urgent message for you. The average funeral today costs over $8,000, but the most you'll get from government benefits is $255. How will your family pay the difference? We can help. Our senior plans start as low as just a dollar a day and pay up to $30,000 for a funeral and other final expenses. Peace of mind is easy. There's no medical exam. You'll have lifetime coverage, and your plan can't be canceled as long as you pay your premiums. Call now for free information about our senior plans. Answer a few simple questions and receive approval right on the phone. Plus, call right now and we'll give you a discount prescription card for free. Call 800-553-8687. That's 800-553-8687. Again, 800-553-8687. KLRN Radio has advertising rates available. We have rates to fit almost any budget. Contact us at advertising at klrnradio.com. Attention business owners and independent contractors. This is a money-saving message from Tax Mediation Services. If your business owes $20,000 or more in taxes, we can help you today, right now. Listen, dealing with the IRS is no picnic. It's an intimidating and extremely stressful process, and you don't want to go it alone. Our attorneys know every law, every tax break, and every possible opportunity to help you resolve and reduce your tax debt. And if you owe more than $20,000, you may be at the top of their hit list. So don't take your tax debt lightly because it will not go away on its own. The IRS can seize your bank accounts, your home, and even shut down your business. Call our tax experts today at 1-800-783-0810 and let us deal with the IRS while you focus on your business. That's 1-800-783-0810. Again, that's 800-783-0810. My son was in the Army back during Desert Storm, but even then he wanted an MBA. He looked at a dozen schools, but only one offered the online education and flexibility he needed while he was in a tent in Iraq, Grantham University. Turns out that Grantham's been delivering affordable, relevant college and advanced degrees for over 65 years. Heck, if they can deliver a quality education to a soldier in a tent overseas, think about the flexibility Grantham can offer you so you can earn your degree, too. It doesn't matter how complicated or full your life is. If getting a degree is on your bucket list, you'll want to do what my son did. You'll want to call Grantham. Find out how easy it is to get started on your education so you can check that college degree off your bucket list. Call Grantham right now. 800-910-1370. That's 800-910-1370. 
Flexible, affordable, relevant. Call 800-910-1370. Sometimes riders feel lost, unsure why a passage may not be working. It takes another set of eyes to help us nurture our riding into full maturity. At Black Wolf Editorial Services, we strive to enable riders to develop and grow, offering manuscript critiques and line edits through a mentoring editorial style. We also offer assistance on generating a rider's bio for your websites. Black Wolf Editorial Services. Nurturing your writing into maturity. For a full list of services, visit blackwolfeditorial.com. They fight and die for our freedom. No one had to ask them to go without a moment's hesitation. For the red, white, and blue. All right. Thank you all for hanging in there with me while we paid those radio station bills. Yeah, just a couple minutes off schedule, but that's okay. <clears throat> Still got them paid, got them paid. All right, we are going to take a small detour. Yeah, you know me, I'm great at detours, aren't I? There was a UN Security Council hearing today, meeting today, and it was supposed to be a confidence building exercise. It was far from it. And I've got part of what Nikki Haley had to say. It is fitting that Kazakhstan has called this important meeting. One of Kazakhstan's earliest decisions as an independent nation remains one of the most important moments in the history of nonproliferation. After the fall of the Soviet Union, Kazakhstan voluntarily removed Soviet nuclear weapons from its territory and joined the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty. By rejecting nuclear weapons, President Nazarbayev set an example for the rest of the world. This action built confidence. It showed Kazakhstan's neighbors and the world that they were not a threat. It was a vote of confidence in the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty, which remains the cornerstone of the global nuclear non-proliferation effort. And critically, Kazakhstan's action demonstrated that it valued peace and stability in its relations with other countries. It was an unmistakable, concrete expression of Kazakhstan's willingness and readiness to be a responsible member of the community of nations. The United States continues to lead in efforts to stop the spread of nuclear weapons. We play a leading role ensuring the full implementation of UN Security Council Resolution 1540, a landmark agreement that this Council unanimously adopted in 2004. Together with our partners, we are working to assist states and international organizations in their efforts to prevent non-state actors from developing and acquiring nuclear, chemical, or biological weapons and their delivery systems. But the reality is that today's security environment is more challenging than in the past. Well, I don't have it clipped any better than that, but as you can see, Nikki Haley is speaking her mind again on the floor of the UN Security Council. And I know I will get some more of that for you in upcoming episodes because you know me, I grab these clips and yeah, you'll hear Nikki Haley again. She's a regular feature. Not so much Speaker Ryan, but he hit the nail on the head. He really did. There was no other way to explain about how hard this was going to hit the military. And I, you know, I've got another Ryan clip I just have to play. Explain why your side can't pass this bill with only Republican votes. I understand what you have. No, we're doing fine. So, so, so this bill will pass. I, I have confidence we'll pass this because I think members understand why on earth would we want to have a government shutdown, hurt the military, and by the way, the sequester then on the military starts kicking in in due time. That is not in anyone's interest. And so why we would want to feed the idea that we should use our troops as bargaining ships in an unrelated deal. So, Yep. And one more from... I'm going to play two more, one more from Ryan and one more from 
One from Pelosi.、Uh, I talked at CSIS this morning about how critical it is that we fully fund our military. It is the first responsibility of our government, and right now, this is an urgent responsibility as our military faces a serious deterioration of its readiness capabilities. Unfortunately, Democrats don't seem to share that urgency at all. Now, the bill that Brian is referring to, you gotta hear it. Even though I don't normally cover these people, you gotta hear this comment from Pelosi. Are you ready to laugh? This is like giving you a, a bowl of doggy do, put a cherry on top, and call it a chocolate sundae. This is nothing. <laughs> That's what she says about the about the bill to fund our government, and it's one of those situations. I don't. Think that they thought this out. Not all military spouses work. Not all military families have two incomes. Now, let's talk walls. Nope, not between U.S. and Mexico. How about Israel and Gaza? Officials in Israel on Thursday gave journalists a. T- a Journalists a tour of a destroyed militant Islamist tunnel and a peek at construction of an underground wall. Yep, they're adding an underground wall to the above ground structure. The massive underground barrier is the first of its kind in the world. The project is scheduled to be finished by the end of next year. It's made of reinforced concrete walls that will run for 40 miles along the entire Israeli-Gaza border. The wall will have underground sensors, and to help detect any future tunnels, and a fence almost 30 feet tall will help prevent crossings over ground. As construction progresses, the Israeli military expects to find and destroy several more attack t- tunnels that enter Israel from Gaza. During the last three months, Israeli defense forces destroyed three tunnels. That penetrated Israel from Gaza. Why are these tunnels such a problem, folks? Because people can come and go as they please, and many times Palestinians from Gaza will sneak in and not to see a loved one. But they will do it because they want to do harm. Now. President Trump was at the Pentagon today. Like I said, this is one of those worlds collide days. It really was. Unfortunately, I can't cover the military today without talking about a few politicians. But I do like President Trump's statement. It's a little long, but we are going to listen to it in its entirety. Here to support the general and all of the generals. We're here to. Our country's military. If the country shuts down, which could very well be, the budget、uh, should be handled a lot differently than it's been handled over the last long period of time, many years. But if for any reason it shuts down, the worst thing is what happens to our military. We're rebuilding our military. We're making this. We're bringing it to a level that it's never been at. And the worst thing is for our military. We don't want that to happen. I'm here to support our military. Our military has to be the best in the world by far, and as you know, it's been depleted over the last long period of time. And when we finish, there won't be anything like it. We need that now almost more than at any time in the past. So I'm here for our military. I'm here to support our great, great, and very powerful military. And we're going to keep it that way, but we're going to make it much better. That's what we're doing. That is part of President Trump's statement as he entered the Pentagon today with President Pence. 
Vice President Pence to meet with Secretary of Defense Mattis. So, yes, President Trump is meeting with members of of the administration, and I know he's been working the phones trying to get things sorted out. Because he doesn't want to see all of this. He wants a government that functions. He wants things to work as they should. And I got to admit, it's one of those situations where I don't want to see the government shut down either, but I also don't want our senators and congressmen to roll over and leave our borders unsecure. You've heard what walls and tunnels can do in Israel. They're effective. In fact, the the company that built uh, some of the walls for Israel between the Gaza Strip and the West Bank, and I believe it's the West Bank Wall, has uh, put in a bid and submitted samples and various things to the administration to build the wall on our border. They've got the best showroom in the world. It's called the West Bank. They've got a real life functioning thing that works. All right, folks, I'm getting too far into the weeds. I'm getting too far into the weeds. Somebody pull me out. All right. Let's talk about missile launches. Yeah, there was one today, but I didn't lead with it. And I'm sure you're all scratching your heads. Well, it wasn't North Korea that tested an ICBM today. Yes, there was a test of an intercontinental ballistic missile today. But it was not an ICBM. It was an ICBM, but it was not North Korea. It was India. But one of the reasons the India test didn't freak everybody out, one, they let people know it was coming. Two, they fired a notice to airmen in the area so nobody was going to get hurt. And three... We know India's intentions. And so, it makes us less fearful when those kinds of things happen. It makes us not worry that the sky is falling or that they're really launching an attack because there is a right way there is a right way to do a missile test and there is a wrong way and India did it the right way So, kudos to India, because they show you can work on a nuclear program and play by the rules. And no, I am not done, and we are unfortunately not done 
talking about missiles. Because, well, Iran has been doing tests. Iran has been supplying the Houthi rebels. And our own Nikki Haley has proven that. Iran is actively working to destabilize the Middle East. Yep. And that, my friends, is no joke. There is hardly anything that doesn't have Iran's fingerprints on it. Nikki Haley can point to time and again when they found pieces of missiles that North Korea was, or excuse me, Iran wasn't supposed to be playing with. And so she proved it in her press conference. She held a press conference and she said that, you know, we're going to make this clear to the world. She worked with the Department of Defense and she got things declassified. She worked hard. And she has proven beyond the shadow of a doubt that, guess what? Iran is up to no good. I think I've got an audio clip on that. Let's take a listen. We have said multiple times that this is not just about the nuclear program. This is about everything else they're doing because Iran believes that they have been given a pass. It is incumbent on the international community to show not only are they not being given a pass, but all of these actions have to stop. Yep. She doesn't pull her punches. And here's the one I was actually looking for. Aid from Iran's Revolutionary Guard to dangerous militias and terror groups is increasing. Its ballistic missiles and advanced weapons are turning up in war zones across the region. It's hard to find a conflict or a terrorist group in the Middle East that does not have Iran's fingerprints all over it. So, if Iran can't stick to the nuclear deal, and quite frankly, it does not surprise me, no, they have never honored a single deal. Now, some people are saying that the Iran nuclear deal is in our best interest. Other people are saying it's not. Well, we don't know exactly what's going on in Iran. And the United States and Iran do have a very complicated, bedraggled history. We have helped orchestrate a coup. We have backed one person, not done the other. And I'm not going to say what, right or wrong. But nothing has been the same since 1979 when the revolution overthrew the, through the ruler, the Shah, and 52 Americans were held hostage for 444 days. And at that point, nothing has been right between our two countries since. And while sanctioning Iran is seen as controversial and ineffective, they finally came to the table 
However, comma, they aren't living up to the deal, and there's enough holes in that deal to make it leak anyway. All right. I've got one more thing about Iran. Remember, Iran is the largest state sponsor of terror. And, well, in a letter to Ayatollah Khomeini, the chairman of Hamas, yes, the chairman of Hamas, praised the Iranian nation and leadership for supporting Palestine and the anti-Israel axis of resistance. Now, Justin and I discussed last night what Palestine, Palestinian, the Palestinian people and their, quote, leadership do with a lot of the money they get. They pay terrorists. It's terrorist for hire. Now, I understand the blockade of going on with, you know, the periodic blockades of Gaza cause economic and medical hardships. However, every time the Palestinian people are given a chance, they just turn around and bite. They haven't learned, it's like a dog in obedience school, they haven't learned how to behave. And of course, the Palestinians are fu- still fuming because we announced Jerusalem as the ca- proclaimed Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. And of course, insert protest. But, but I do. I don't see how you could call it any other way. All right, folks. Let me see if I can find the audio for this. Yes, I am sniffing through audio. That's not news, but see what I got. Hang on. I never fight or shot to harm one soul. Self-defense is my number one goal. To the politicians, don't be so stupid. I'm keeping my arms to protect my kids. None of the gun laws ever stop the criminal. More CCPs will keep crime minimal. Yep, I got a good guys with guns story. And... This one I've seen a little bit, mostly on the internet. But there was a convenience store that was being held up. And the robbers, who is one of whom was brandishing a quote-unquote gun, turned out to be fake. But, but you couldn't tell. I looked at the pictures. You couldn't tell it was fake. And the security guard, who was armed, came in, shot the guy with the gun. The other one started yelling, it's fake, it's fake. He held them at gunpoint and defended the convenience store and the clerk. Yep. It was one of those. He defended the convenience store, and the clerk because he had the legal right to carry a firearm. In this case, in his job, but as he doesn't wear a law enforcement or military uniform, I thought it was worth mentioning. All right, folks, you can follow me on Twitter at Jesse's, uh, at Radio Host Jesse. You can email me at the station at Jesse's POV at klrnradio.com. And on that note, my friend, 
I'm going to make my way out of here because there should be a live episode of Jen and Rick coming up hot on my heels. So be sure to stay tuned for that over here on KLRN Radio where liberty and reason still reign.